Hello folks. In the previous video, we were discussing how to plan your BPCC ADR ranges and we had on the left hand side 8000 IP addresses and the requirement was to split it into simple subnets that are having 1024 IP addresses. So today I'm going to show you how you can do that. So there are many ways you can go ahead and manually calculate them using your uh, um, notepad, pen and pencil or the easier way that I plan to do is using a web server or some other web services which helps us to do it. So I'm just going to take you to the website where we can do this. This is one of the sites that helps me to split my uh, VPC or my subnets into a smaller ranges. There are many other sites but this is the one I find it very convenient and easy to use. So all you have to do is go ahead and fill in your IP address here. So I'm going to put in my hour IP address that is 10.80 dot zero dot zero and our mask was 19 so let's just go ahead and update it so you see here it comes up as 19 and then you see here the total hosts are 8190 because two IP addresses have gone for broadcast and other reasons so if I want to split it all I have to do is go ahead and click on divide and you see here automatically it splits it into two 4096 uh, subnets so this is going to be my availability zone ranges that is my first availability zone is going to have a range like this and second availability zone is going to have a range like this so within my availability zone if you remember i want three subnets and each of them having 1024 so i'm going to divide this again so we have got a, a subnet which is of 2046 and if i go ahead and divide it again i will be getting 1024 subnets so likewise let us go ahead and divide that one so if, for example, if you have made an error, if you want to combine them back, all you have to do is go ahead and click back here and it combines all the way. I can go all the way up here. So this is one thing that I really like about the site. I can go ahead and divide and see how I can uh, my subnets looks like, whether I have still a spare range or do I want to split them more. So say, for example, I want to split them, go all the way down to 512 IP addresses. I can keep on dividing them. But in my use case, I'm, I need it at 1024, so I'm going to stop here. So you see here, I have a total of six subnets, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So that is going to span across both my availability zones. And I still have about a 2046 or 48 IP addresses as spare, which I can use in the future also. So all I have to do is go ahead and create my uh, VPC. And then under my VPC, go ahead and create my subnets for this is my subnet range. And this is going to be my start of my IP address. And this is going to be my ending IP address within that subnet. So this is how I do, I do it. If you have a better way of doing it, go ahead and put them in the comment section. Let us learn from each other. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.